What's good, XRP Army? We have tons of exciting updates to unpack today from Apex, from developers, from Garling House, and maybe a hint at the outcome coming sooner than we think with the Ripple versus SEC with Judge Torres. So hit the subscribe, hit the like. XRP price right now, yeah, it's in the gutter, but many other altcoins are. And I think that summer, as we alluded to earlier, post having is not going to be very fruitful for altcoins and whatnot. This project XRP and many others will be a late bloomer in my opinion. What do you guys think? It feels like we're just stuck Curtis Jackson 50 cent into club. Is RLUSD the second stable coin at this point? I'm just watching. If it does go really low, I'll be scooping up some more. But I'm really looking forward to the day that we come back to this July Judge Torres moment of when we went up to 82 cents. Let's pass a dollar, get some new price discovery. But I think it's going to be a little bit more pain even all the way until Q4. What do you guys think? Ripple X says mass adoption for blockchain will come in part through abstracting the tech layers the same way the internet grew. And I agree. Um, some beautiful clips. Let's check this out. What are you guys most excited about for the upcoming year? I'm excited to see, you know, continuing enterprise adoption, bringing people onto the blockchain and maybe some progress on the bridging problem. The thing that I'm most excited about this year, and really I'm, I'm going to give it the year, not just calendar year. We talked earlier about simplicity. We talked about usability. The abstraction layers that I see people building so that these technologies are more usable and more approachable, I think are critical to the industry, critical to the XRPL, and uh, I'm very excited about what I see happening there. Yeah, I agree. I think that uh, as a UX designer, I think UX is the biggest barrier to entry. This is why we see ETFs. This is why we see the way Coinbase moves. This is why we see that Ethereum even is pushing for abstraction, abstraction. The more that you can nicely tuck away the technology from the user, the benefit. And a good analogy is a car. You and I can jump in any basic normal car with an automatic transmission and the tech is just hidden under the hood. Whether it's 30 years old or five years old, it has that design convention. So I think less is more, a beauty and simplicity, and it will take time. You know, we gotta speculate to accumulate. We're early adopters, but I think that if we give Ripple the benefit of the doubt, I think they're on the right track with their efforts with the EVM sidechain, with Axler integration. I think they're on the right track. XRP Cafe co-founder Vet says, XRP Ledger Super Dex. The XRPL has compared to other chains a sophisticated order matching engine. Together with low cost and fast block times, the XRPL Dex has order book and AMM combined. Let's remember that even though there's going to be needing a lot of time for Liquidity to grow, AMM is still pretty fresh. There was a time where other projects with their massive TVLs were in the same position. So time will benefit XRPLs, AMMs and whatnot. I just really look forward to the day the DEX can show up in like CG and CMC in a, in a visible way, in a way that users can be like, oh, that's like Uniswap, but native to XRP. Because let's remember the XRPL DEX, I think sometimes people sleep on it, but it needs more visibility in the way that I mentioned. Because it's a beautiful thing, whether you're using Sologenic or on XRP or Orchestra Finance. Some of these names are whack. I don't like Orchestra Finance. I want to see more beautiful apps. I want to see, this, see those sexy dApps that sound cool and are nice and beautiful, whether it's built in-house or third party. And I guess time will tell, but... Come on, rapido, 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 you know? Uh, Vet, uh, you know, he's got to work on his English a little bit, but no one caught this. Frank told Garling House it would be awesome if we have the Ripple case resolution at his birthday, August 28th. Brad said it would be amazing to celebrate the resolution at this uh, birthday. At the end of the panel, he said, happy birthday. Now, I mean, <laughs> I saw the replies to this and... Uh, <laughs> I feel like you give Ripple community, the XRP community, a crumb and they make a pizza with it. You know, the Riddler stuff is absolute BS. I hate the whole Riddler nonsense. But I think that we will get a resolution sooner than we think. We know for a fact that Ripple said they are confident uh, that it will be judged fairly. Number two, we know Ripple said that they won't pay more than 10 million in their opinion. We know number three, that there were no accusations, allegations of fraud and whatnot of harm. So I think that everything is pointing to Gensler kind of being like, you know what, I overplayed my cards. And I think that we may see like a mid-July 
could be like a July one. So the whole point of this tweet is that it's alluding to before or on this date. So maybe that's the soft limit. August 28th maybe is the soft limit. We'll, we'll wait and see. Brad also called for $5 trillion by Q4 for the global crypto market cap. So take it with a grain of salt. We'll see what happens. Just announced that XRPL Apex, Ripple and Arc, Arcax X, these names, man, Arcax, are expanding their partnership to bring hundreds of millions of dollars in tokenized real-world assets or RWAs to the XRPL over the next year. This move solidifies the XRPL as a leading blockchain for RWA tokenization. And there's a couple of nice threads with this. So the partnership with leading financial institutions to enable tokenization of RWAs. Thanks to this extended collaboration, these institutions will be able to utilize XRPL to tokenize their assets. Finally, our industry is at the start of the next major adoption stage in which blockchain technology will deliver real utility in financial markets at scale. Now, let's end on a kind of a anticlimactic, you know, like, you know, when like, you know, when like a movie doesn't end with like a good story and that has that troll like ending. Let's head over to Kai. Now, I have mad respect for Kai. He's done a lot for XRP. We all make mistakes. And I like XRP, guys. Don't, I'm not here to like bash XRP completely. I, I still have a little bit of hope for XRP. But he says that rugged projects got mentioned in the ecosystem presentation by David Schwartz. But on XRP, who did 61.6% .6 of all on-chain NFT related volume gets left out. And they say there's no clear agenda against us. Now, you could argue that there isn't an agenda against some. You could argue that there isn't. You could argue that maybe they just didn't know. Um, one thing I'll make clear, guys, I have a big pain point with Ripple in the community. Why is it always, it, am I wrong here? But why does it seem like Ripple is always out of touch with their community? They're out of touch with the builders. They're out of touch with like people who are building who, like if you're doing 62% of volume, that name better be somewhere on this list of like 90 names. I don't even know what they are. Zerpman, Forte, Stinger, Kaiju, like who, what, when, where, how, why, huh? You know, I see some like Zaman and Zahao and, but it's so bizarre how out of touch they are. It's just, I don't like the whole philosophy of like no incentives for you, Ripple, I'm working on like a salary, no validator rewards for you, the best incentive is no incentive. The best incentive is an incentive. Period. Said and done. The best incentive is incentive. When the pizza man oh shows up to your door, your incentive is pizza. His incentive is money and or tip. It's that simple. Even when Jesus Christ came down, the incentive is heaven. There's always, we're always incentive driven. Children are incentive driven. You dangle something with positive reinforcement and they go to get that reward. It's just so bizarre. If I twisted this analogy, it would be like Ripple saying, you know what, pizza delivery man? Keep the pizza because I neither want the pizza nor have the money to pay. And it would have been cool if that worked, if like all of the supply went to the public. They didn't keep more than 50%. They didn't line up their pockets. It's a weird, bizarre situation with like the animosities and the political like nuance that's in uh, Ripple. There's a lot of uh, bitterness in, in Ripple. And um, I don't know if the XRP army is as strong as people think that it is. Now, you could come back and argue Kai, oh, he sold out. He went to Solana. It's not doing too good. You know, people miss the mark. Maybe their project, like they move somewhere else to come where like customers are and they want to see like maybe there's more customers here. It's kind of like if your Best Buy, your store is in a location where there's not many customers, maybe you relocate. At the same time, I can see how XRP people are pissed because it's like, hey, you drain value from us, now you're drain, draining value elsewhere. But at the core of my conversation is that Ripple needs to be more embedded in what the community is like asking for. And I see Ripple, I observe. I see that Ripple will tweet like once a week, put a retweet out and maybe, you know, once a week. My job here is done. It, they don't feel like installed in the community the way that many other altcoins do many other altcoins are like posting a lot on multiple platforms and it looks like ripple's just doing the bare minimum all right salary okay and it's like who are most of these projects i don't even know i mean flare yeah axler network yeah but 
And I'm not here to degrade the projects on here. I don't know exactly which of these are a rug. I'm just saying that there's a genuine pain point that needs some, some healing and some repair. Because I think because this project is so old and because it's kind of gone like, you know, in this 50 cent for years, combined with the out of touch attitude and also, you know, give, throw on XR, on XRP on there, throw on X Spectre on there for Metaverse. Why is X Spectre not there? Why is on XRP not there? There's many projects that come to mind that can just be there that aren't there. And there's many that I don't know anything about. And uh, I've worked closely with XRP builders. I worked with Bob Way at, at, at Expector. It's just bizarre. It's weird. I, I hope to see a day where I'm rooting for Ripple to do well. And I'm rooting for these builders and developers. But how we get there is also to be like, hey, like, is there some problems here? Are there some things that need some some repair in terms of trust and uh, and and just, yeah, just a general. But what do you guys think? Those are kind of my rant about um, and they could have been mentioned here too. I mean, Zerpe is a very cute dog on XRPL. And uh, I know they did like a side-scrolling game. Why no mention of them? You know, like support your community. Um, I, when I attended uh, an event like a year ago, I was shilling XRP to the people, boots on the floor, XRP, XRP, XRP. And then there were people being invited to a Ripple dinner who didn't even know what XRP was. And I was just like, I was like, how does this happen? What's the line of communication where you're so out of touch with what's actually happened? Here's an equivalency and I'll end because I could go forever. It's like if Vitalik or others didn't even know any of their top tier projects. It's like they didn't even know what's Uniswap. Oh, a board ape, what is that? Huh? It's You'd laugh, you'd be like, what? So interesting to see Zerpe and, and they have done a lot. And I mean, like Zerpe, the guy in their two XRP productions, XRPP, one of the biggest, most passionate, hardworking hosts, give them some credit. So I feel like it's just, I agree with this. We don't even recognize half those names, brands in that list. Unbelievable on XRP wasn't included in the marketplaces. It's just, it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy. Um, and obviously some people will bite back. Like I find it sad that x -Punks chose Solana. Um, on XRP was also successful. x -Spectre is not presented either. Um, and that's the thing, guys. I guess sometimes there's going to be nepotism. Sometimes there's going to be that. Uh, but it's not like... It, it, it's The truth is somewhere in between is the takeaway. So we'll continue to watch and observe the advancements by Ripple XRP. Uh, but some of these partnerships are seeming like just like paper launch because to me, what's important is goods, services, value, uh, adoption, and recognition, whether it be the word or whether it be support in the form of grants and whatnot. And, you know, it sucks that XRP doesn't even have staking and whatnot. So you can cl clearly see that the users yearn for it when they were doing single-sided liquidity provision for quote-unquote passive income those are the words of xrpl not mine so i hope to see a, a day where the DeFi ecosystem blossoms more the axillary integration can open up new liquidity catalysts amm matures more native dex appears on cmc and cg recognition for other names that are building that are absent with half of these guys no one knows who they are so what do you guys think about this what is the future for ripple because I'll be honest with you guys, I'm probably going to sell my XRP, like probably most, if not all of it, at the heat of this bull run because stuff like this just doesn't make me feel right in terms of how they treat their own builders. It's very bizarre. But let me know what you guys think. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. I'll see you guys in the next Angry Crypto Show.